Have you ever tried the prompt, create me a wireframe in ChatGPT? Well, more or less, it gives you a breakdown of pages that you might be able to include in your app, especially if you're very specific with what you're looking for. I use it here and there to make sure I'm not missing anything from my designs until I found a better tool called Reloom. Now, Reloom actually helps you generate uh, the site layout and the site map, ensuring that you don't miss any components from your product or your website. Now, of course, like anything in AI, I was pretty skeptical at first, but once I started digging in, I found out Reloom is actually pretty legit, and I'm gonna show you in this video how it's gonna help you with your wireframes. Let's jump in. So I'm on reloom.io. As you can see, you can get websites design and build faster with AI, very cool. Let's see if it actually lives up to that standard. What's really cool about it is that you don't actually even need an account. All you need to do is describe a company in a sentence or two. So let's imagine we're making a restaurant delivery app and see what it does. A company that helps users order food from restaurants for delivery and pickup. And of course, the more specific you get, I'm guessing the better it's going to help you generate that wireframe. So let's see just with our free account or just without even logging in, what will this generate for us? Right away, I'll give you a little tour. I'm going to just start building. And as you can see in the background, it's starting to actually lay out a sitemap for me, as well as show the different pages that the landing page could have, including a how it works page, a restaurant page, blog, contact us, the typical pages that you see on a landing page when you do land on there. And then up here, it actually organizes the main homepage by sections. So shows you a navbar section, a hero header section, featured section, e-commerce product list. Not very sure if this is the right term e-commerce, but it does explain to display a selection of popular restaurants with a variety of cuisines available for the delivery and pickup. So it did get the, it does understand what we're asking for. Now, of course, you can click um, on any of these and move it around if you like. So you can use that as your sort of base layout for your website. Uh, and you can even add different sections in. So let's say you want to add a blank section and include some elements in there. So you could do that and type in maybe, maybe, I don't know, we want a testimonial or reviews here. And you can describe what you're looking for there too. Now, that's cool, but what about the actual wireframe? They have this wireframe tab, so as soon as you switch over, it starts sketching things out. And this is super cool, very similar to when you go on ChatGPT and it's writing the response after you type the prompt. It's doing the same thing here with all the different, for example, team members here is generating the team on the fly with even the different chefs, the head chef, food stylist, the sous chef, the pastry chef, this is amazing. And it's coming up with all that data on the spot. So you don't need to come up with lorem ipsum text or write John Doe everywhere. Now, it does have some sections we were even thinking about. It has the reviews, it's awesome. It has a newsletter section, it has a contact section, and it came up with a pretty decent wireframe, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty much very close to a lot of the landing pages we see unless it's something like super custom or super creative but for generally for most websites this would work especially as a first version as a draft this is amazing now you can click on any of these sections and you can actually change it up you can reset the copy so if you don't like the copy you can just reset it and then type your own in here or you could change this uh, from instead of having buttons to a form. So you have to have users or the users have to type in an email. Then if you want copy again, you can generate some copy. Again, you can remove the background, have a video playing as a background. You can replace the component. So if you don't like this header, there's multiple different types of headers that they have. You can go back and say, you know what, maybe I like a header that's like this, with all the different kind of foods or restaurants or whatnot. 
So you have a ton of customizations in terms of going to each component or each section and maybe adding the column, removing a column, choosing how the text is aligned, whether you want a slider component or not. So it does give you some options here. And if you want to generate more pages because they have a how it works page that it already generated, I'm assuming from the sitemap here, and it has a page for the restaurant. So I'm guessing we see a list of restaurants, restaurant profiles, blog, blog post, contact us and so on. Now, the only caveat is with a free option or without logging in and upgrading your account, you only get access to the first page, which could still be nice. Imagine you're working for a freelance client and they want a landing page and you don't know what sections to include. This is a pretty good start and it even lets you see what the tablet and the mobile version looks like. That's awesome. Now, what if we had the paid version? Let's switch over to see what other pages it can generate for us. So let's switch back over here. So I've logged in now. I have a paid account. I'm gonna create a new project and do the same thing. Restaurant, food delivery, ordering app with pickup and delivery options. Now, I know that's a slightly different prompt than what I tried before. It even allows you to choose the number of pages that you want. So if you want more sophisticated designs, you can choose more pages. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better wireframes, but let's see what it comes up with. So there we go. It generates it, it has a pretty nice flow. We got more pages. Now we got an order online page. We got a how it works testimonial a section for delivery, a section for pickup, or I guess different pages. So let's see now the wireframe for this. And there we go. It's starting to generate it right away. Pretty similar to what we generated uh, in the free version. It's not much difference I see here. This one has an FAQ. I'm not sure if I saw it in the other one, but I'm pretty sure that's new here. And you can, of course, add sections too. Now, if you want to generate the other pages in the paid plan, you can just click generate. It starts putting the sections and then it starts generating those sections. And I think this is valuable because not only is it providing you with some sample copy that you can just write in your landing page, again, at least for the V1 until maybe your marketing people dig in and correct it, but this is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what kind of menu page it generates. Let's see if it will actually hold up to the standard that we see in a lot of food ordering apps. All right, okay. Explore our delicious menu options. We got appetizers here and some main courses. Not sure exactly what these sections are, whether they're buttons or they're just telling you what kinds of foods we can order. The food from this app is absolutely delicious. I can get enough of it, okay. Seems like a fake review, but I'm sure we can replace that with a real review. Okay, so this is not bad for a menu page. I'm guessing again, you press that order button and then it takes you to the order online. Okay, I'm really curious how this page actually looks because this is probably one of the more important pages where we wanna get the wireframe right before we launch this project or even get to doing mockups. Order now easily. Okay, it's just adding more steps at this point. Okay, there's a menu, finally. We have the menu, we have the appetizer, different items. Personally, I wouldn't do center line. I would do a left line here, but of course they give you access to that option, so that's nice. Now, if you don't like it again, you can go back and say, you know what, maybe I can try a different layout here. There's pricing options here. Again, I'm not sure. Maybe this is for getting a monthly plan with this um, food ordering app. I mean, we see this in DoorDash and Uber Eats, so it makes sense. Um, not sure. Okay, get in touch section. Not sure if I'd include that on this page specifically, but you get the idea. It gives you some pages and some sections that you could use. You don't have to use it. In fact, you can go and delete any of the sections that you don't like by just simply right-clicking and deleting. There we go. 
And what's cool is that you can actually copy elements from here for Webflow. So if I click copy, it will tell me use the Chrome extension to actually copy this into, to paste this into Webflow. For you Webflow folks, I'll let you try it out if you want and let us know if that actually works well. I'm interested in the Figma plugin because as a designer, I work with Figma pretty much on the daily, sometimes even when I'm sleeping. So this would be a good demonstration to see, but it actually generate some nice wireframes inside the Figma 2. Now they have a file here or a plugin, I guess, that you can open in Figma. I'm in a Figma file. I just opened it up and I'm gonna run Reloom. Now I've already logged in, so they found my project. That's the one. I can click on it and see, I can add the wireframe. Let's add wireframe to canvas and whoa, it already created some textiles in here. And it's just going crazy in the background here, adding all the different screens. It's a little bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie, because this part I think is still maybe something they're working on because it just puts everything on top of one another. It just doesn't look good at all. What I'm gonna do is hopefully this works. There we go, okay. So now there's a bit of organization at least here. It's basically not only the web version, but the mobile version as well. Oh look, a nice menu here, hamburger menu. And I guess it pasted all the different components for sections in here with the main homepage. We, have, we also have another page called Reloom Components. Okay, all the components are here. That's cool. I don't think it pasted our other pages that we just designed. Maybe if you run it again, it will do it at sitemap. Okay, that just puts the sitemap that we designed, but I'm not sure where the other one went. So definitely it needs some work, it's not perfect, but do give it a try and let me know in the comments if you find anything it generates useful and helpful in your actual design flow. I would love to hear um, stories on how you use Reloom to maybe generate the first version of your wireframe. And again, you don't need an account. You can just go on reloom.io. Once you're on reloom.io, you can generate a sitemap or a wireframe or at least one page free of charge. So give that a try and I hope it helps you in your design journey. With that, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.